For 12, uh, we have a type of exponential growth. They're going to give you some information and you want to come up with the, the growth formula and then you'll use that to answer the following question. So we're given that initially Las Vegas had two Dunkin' Donuts stores and it said after 2.25 years then it grew to 14 stores. They want you to come up with an exponential growth model that describes this data. So first we have to start with our main formula here and this is the exponential growth, growth and decay formula. A equals A of zero E to KT. So let's fill in the information based on what they give us. It says initially that there is two stores which means that we're going to put a 2 in right there. Uh, and then you have KT. Now K is what we're going to solve for. We want to solve for the growth constant. So we don't know what that one is. And the time they give us is 2.25 years. So we have that. And it says that after 2.25 years, there's 14 stores. That's what you're going to put in here uh, for A. So this would be the amount or the population after the growth has occurred. And this is the uh, initial amount that they give. So now that we have this, we want to solve for the k value and that's what we're going to put in here and we'll have our growth, general growth formula. Divide both sides by 2, we get 7 equals e to the 2.25k. And so that would be our uh, first step. And then we need to get the k out from the exponent and because there's an E here what we're going to do is we're going to take the natural log of both sides because one of our properties that we talked about was if you have natural log and an E both that's going to cancel and you're just going to end up with the exponent so we're going to get natural log of 7 equals 2.25 K and then we're going to divide both sides by 2.25 and so when we do this, we're going to put this into the calculator. So natural log of 7 over 2.25. As I mentioned before uh, in this playlist, I mentioned that anytime you do a k value, it's okay to round it to four decimal places. That's what we're going to do again for this one. So natural log of 7 over 2.25, we put that in the calculator, and we're going to get 0.8648 rounded to four places, and that's going to be our k value. So if it asks for the equation, you don't want to leave your answer as this. A lot of times this is what I'll see for an answer. People just leave it as k equals that. But that's not an, an equation. That's just telling you what k is equal to. If you want the growth formula for it, then what you're going to do is you're going to put the values back into this general one. So that started out at, at 2. And then the k value, we can put that in here. So 0.8648t. This is now going to be the growth formula that we're going to use. So this is going to be the answer for part I, uh, 2e to the 0.8648. So you need the whole equation there uh, for credit. So that, that is part A. Now, for part, du uh, 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 part I, rather. Then for the second I, double I, uh, we're going to use this formula there. And what this says is, uh, find out how many stores are estimated, it says, after 3.5 years. So that means that we're going to put 3.5 in for T. So we have 2E to the 0.8648 times 3.5, because that's what they're giving us in double I. Uh, so we're going to put this into the calculator. So we're going to do this part first, 3.5 times the K value. And if we do that step first, we're going to get 3.0268 uh, when we multiply these two together. And then once we do that, we're now going to put the whole thing into the calculator to get the final answer. Now this one says round to the nearest whole number. Uh, so when you do that, you get about 41.6 uh, or 26 when you put that in. And so when you round it, because it says round the nearest whole number, we're just going to put 41 stores in uh, for uh, double I. So that would be our answer uh, for 12A.